is what Rob was talking about in the uh, the pre-game. Softening things up and then finding the space. And now, can they go round the outside? Not on that occasion. No. Away now! It's been a good start by the, uh, the Chiefs so far, 50 seconds. And they've dominated things. Now they've got an opportunity here. And Badilli will make the most of it. Well, the irony of the build-up talking around the new style of sevens, that is very much old school, but as you've seen, perfectly precise. Stretching teams, very difficult to stop because they've got so much pace on the ball. You can see here the Bristol players simply running out of numbers. Draw the man, you pass it. Matt Jester, rather than being the finishing man, becomes the creator. That's another absolute sky-high restart. If you were with us last night, you would have seen that. And it's a more of a breezy day, but the Chiefs are in control of the ball. And here we go for number two. As you can see there, the great play originally to get the ball back from Sam Skinner, supplying the offload for Nick Mason to get in the corner. Big men offloading, you cannot stop that in any version of the game. Players are all to the left, so they have no choice. They are coming towards Edwards. No advantage. Never no ten. Here they come. Floated pass. Can he score in the corner? <laughs> Billy Searle does. Free reign. You give a winger free reign in a game, he's going to take it. Indiscretions once again from Exeter. And there we go. Look, little variation. Throws it over the top there. Despairing tackle in the corner there. Sam Skinner cannot stop. Billy Sell, enjoy that one. Here come the Chiefs. Laverick starts the break. And surely, if they can just get some width. Well, Jess comes back inside. Simmons. And it will be scored. And Nick Mainson has another one. Be a deep breath job. Two minutes of Simbin, three minutes of game time. Exeter have uh, pulled them in. Now they're going to uh, spin it wide. badilly has got his uh, dancing shoes on this afternoon, and he's got his second. Release! Little show and go. Oh, that's going to stay alive. Here's the chance. 70 metre running. Harrison Cully made it 50 metres, though. If the ball goes, it has to be. There's two outside. And there is the scoring pass. And Sam Skinner will go in. Really well created. Remember, that started in their own 22 and ends with a score. This is why it's so good. Different mindset, everyone Thank wanted you. to attack. This is their own 22, speculated ball out the back, another offload following. Always a daunting prospect when you're looking down at open track and 75 metres in front of you. But gets far enough, wins the collision. The thing for me to look at here is the support. How quickly are these Exeter players reacting? So the Hooters gone. Final play time. Mike Yerin is back involved right. from his Symbian period, but he might have just presented another scoring opportunity, and Tom Hendrickson will go in. And this is now getting very ugly. It is full time, therefore, and the uh, Exeter Chiefs have started in fine style. They win 36 points to five.